Hello, everybody. This is another episode of Max One on One. I'm here with my friend. Long time not seeing you, brother. Jim Green. Jim uh, is an artist, a famous artist from uh, Buffalo, New York. Are you in Buffalo right now, Jim? Yeah. yeah. Awesome, awesome. And you, like, no, 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 a long time ago, you were awarded with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame of uh, Buffalo, New York. Yeah, it's Buffalo Music Hall of Fame inducted into that. Yeah. Yes, I was right, man. That, that's a great, great, uh, you know, uh, award. I love it. I love it. So you you play with the uh, Appy's brothers, you know, Carmen and uh, and uh, Vinny. You also have your own band, you know, Hair Nation, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have a lot, a lot, a lot going on. And now you have uh, this new album that to me, and since I want to show you that I'm a follower of you, from the record that came out a few years ago, 2019, The London Fog, there was a song, Scream Taker. Good, correct? good job, yes. And, and I, I'm linking it to something that's happening now. <laughs> the Scream Taker is a band with uh, with you, of course, uh, Jim Crane, Vinny Abyss in the, in, the, in the drums, I mean, legendary drummer, and Steph Hunt. So, uh, and you have like 10, 15, 10 12 songs, uh, and uh, tell me all about it, Tim. Yeah, I mean, it's a great, we're really excited about this new project, uh, um, Scream Taker. Uh, and you're right, it, I did have a song on my London Frog called Scream Taker, and then that's hence the name we got the name for the band. But yeah, we have a, uh, it's on Deco Records. It drops tomorrow, which is, uh, you know, Friday. Very and, cool. Um, and the packaging is unbelievable, done by Lee Stokes. He did a great job on it. Nice. Uh, Jeff DeBerry did the album cover. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's it's the bundle that you're talking about comes with a, 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 a booklet. Yep. T-shirt and uh, the CD. And it's yeah. All- like you say, I really like the graphic. It's like a horror movie from the 50s, right? Uh, like, very, yeah. like very vintage. And it yep. looks very cool. Who came with that idea? It was you or it was the graphic designer? Vinny. Vinny Appetit. Oh, wow. Vinny, Vinny. I'm sorry I missed uh, that part. Right? Um, but Vinny initially came up with the idea of coming up with like a 50s horror movie, movie. type cover. And it's just very super- cool. Very cool. And then, yeah, because you have uh, the first song is Kill the Beauty. <laughs> Kill the Beautiful, sorry. And then Stone Cold, which has a video now that running on YouTube, you know, on social media. But uh, who, who wrote the song? So is it you? Is you and Vinny? Uh, because I know you're a very good writer. So, Well, Stefan, too. Stefan's a phenomenal writer. So oh, he nice. was definitely write the music, send it to me. I would come up with all the melodies and, and all the vocals. The arrangements and all the words and um and then shoot it over to vinnie and then vinnie would come up with the arrangements and the drums and stuff and and so really the three of us really wrote all three all the songs in the record my god Wait, what's your what's one of your favorite songs that or, or where do you get the inspiration to write your part of a song my favorite one on the record is probably um a song called curse of the werewolf that's a my favorites and um uh, right, uh, but cool. my inspiration just everything everything's different there's really yeah. no set way of, of of writing these songs it just float, float out of float out of us yeah yeah yeah. so uh, you know you can't I, and i really want to congratulate the deco entertainment you know that's the the record label correct yeah they're doing a great job with bands you know i shout out to them because you know i see very good work all the bands that are recording with them you know they're they're promoting very well all the work i, I i'm very happy with all what they're doing you know they're helping a lot the industry and also wanted to ask you that uh, you can buy this record in, um, if I'm not, if I'm correct, merchbucket.com, right? And yeah. you go, that, that's, that's the store where you can go and buy it. And then you can get the whole package with the t-shirt and the CD and the booklet autograph by the three of you or just you? Uh, all three of us, yeah. All three, wow. So that's it's going to be a really cool thing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's limited, limited, uh, copies of that and, mm-hmm. and i think they're almost all sold out there yeah so that it's really going pretty pretty pretty, pretty fast. fast yeah yeah you have to go right now to to merchbucket.com and and get that album i'm gonna get one after this uh, interview because i i was kind of I haven't, that, even that. One. I haven't even gotten one yet so i'm excited <laughs> to, to get one i'm gonna actually go on there and, and get the t-shirt and all that stuff too because it, it's really great stuff it looks really Oh really man, cool. I love it! I love it. And tell me about touring. Are you guys uh, planning some some live shows or 
uh, are, are you, because you, you also you tour a lot, right? So you have other projects where you you know you you perform uh, live. But do you have time to to perform with uh, Scream Taker? We're gonna make the time. I mean, awesome. Yeah, everybody's been wanting this thing. I mean, again, we wrote these songs during COVID. And, yeah. Uh, that crazy COVID era. Yeah. We were all, you know, locked down with really nothing to do. So we started writing songs and and um and just kind of made it as a project. Then we got a deal out of it. And before you know it, here we are today. Everybody's really going kind of excited about it. And they want us to go out there and, and, and play live with the song. Very cool. Very so, cool. Uh, we've got a few offers in like South America and Oh wow! States, so we're gonna. Where, where, where is South America? I, I know Argentina, uh, Brazil, <laughs> for sure. Brazil and Argentina probably because we all have the great... big festivals too. You know, the bigger, yeah, the yeah. bigger things. So that being said, I, you know, we're gonna explore every option we have, and uh, and try and make it work so we can get out there, and uh, and see you guys. Absolutely, Absolutely. South America, man, is cream for rock. So mm. <laughs> you are scream takers, man. Yeah, yeah, a good match for South America. So it really uh, is. In the in the response to this uh, already, the units being sold. I mean, we're selling units in Japan and South America and Europe, and it just seems like there's a they're, they're thirsty for this. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Europe. Europe. Also, I just came back from Spain. Europe is uh, also Spain. You know, Germany. Spain loves. Yeah. You name it. It's uh, you know the Sweden Rock Festival. You know, mm -hmm. Europe is really, really uh, rock and roll is really huge. So you, you have yeah. a lot of market there too, brother. But You're you right. know, it's it's great talking to you. Thank you for thank your thank you for your time. You know, I can't wait to listen. So to tomorrow, Friday the twenty third, you know, September twenty third. This is going to be all on social media. It's going to be on Spotify, uh, Amazon Music, uh, you know, Apple Music, all, all all the platforms, or it's only on CD. All of it. Um, it's wow. Gonna, it's on CD, but it's going to be on all the platforms. It's already, I think it's already up on all the platforms. To be honest with you, yeah, it actually physically drops tomorrow. Tomorrow. And um, and but it, you know, you can go to techentertainment.com to get it. You can get the merch bucket, like you said. Um, there's so many different. I mean, you can get it at all the record stores. Yeah, so, that comes with the T-shirt. The design of the T-shirt is amazing. It's a, it's a, the record, but it's all black and white. So, how cool is that? <laughs> it is. And the booklet, I, I, I'm yet to see the physical copy of it, but I've seen all the artwork, and it's got cool pictures in there, and, yeah. and all the lyrics, you know, are in there. So it's it it makes for a better experience. So that. Yes. The book that it looks like an actual it's like a book yeah so and also you be, cool. yeah you support the artists right because uh you know by buying all this stuff you know it's how you guys can move forward because being a, mus a musician is not for free man you spend a lot of money you know equipment uh it's hours you know rehearsing hours recording so it's not it's not easy you know so the best way you can support a musician is buying the merch the cds you know getting an autograph so, so that that's why I encourage everybody to do with this great, amazing band, Scream Taker, brother. I, I really congratulate you for all your work, especially now with this new record. I want to congratulate you for that. Thank you for your music, brother. Thanks, Max. You uh, and thank you for always having me. This is the second time I've been, second or third time I've been on your sure. show. And, <laughs> yeah, and you um you always uh, promote and, and and support my career. So I really appreciate that. Absolutely, you got it. Thank you, brother.